Hello and welcome back to our, our continuing adventures on the Let's Defend platform. Today we are knocking out the second to last of the current DFIR exercises. That being of the Iced ID malware family. And so with this we are given a zip file loaded with a bunch of different files and we have to suss out the answers to 15 questions in regards to everything that's there. So I have gone ahead and extracted the files in question should be visible on the screen. So it looks like we have uh, a bin file, a copy of the scheduled task, an HTA, a JPEG, a document, license.dat, a DLL file, and of course the all important PCAP file for the network traffic. Let's go ahead and we will take the Windows Explorer window, get that hidden and out of the way. Thank you. Okay, so what are we looking at? What is the SHA-256 hash for the mouse spam attachment? So that I'm going to assume is going to be the Word document. So let's find the Word document. I have taken all the files and dumped them into virus total. And unfortunately, this involves me basically just clicking through a bunch of stuff. Ah, here we go. Docs 0602 2021. And I want SHA 256. So let's see. Copy that and put it in the brackets that it's going to want for the answer. Oh, a little bit too far, there we go. So pop that in and we hit submit. Okay, apparently the word doc is the uh, mouse spam attachment, which makes sense. I mean, most people not gonna go through. Okay, child process. Command line when the user enables the macro. And so did we get Let's see, so we got network comms. So it's like something okay, yeah, these are the files dropped, so the HTA gets dropped. So it looks like what is the child process command line when the user enabled the macro? So that's word kicking up. So I'm going to assume it's going to be this. So explore.exe collection box const.hta I suppose what we could do is let's see can I find the the sandbox yes sandbox and that's yeah okay right there on the right process 3204 explorer.exe space collection box const.hta okay so let's see swing and maybe a miss maybe a hit yeah that's exactly what it's looking for okay what is the html application file sha256 hash from the previous so i'm fairly certain i did run the HTA through. Okay, here we go. Collection box const.hta. And 
so we'll take that and I will put it in the curly brackets. I think that's what that is. Uh, we will submit. What do we got? We got it. <laughs> okay, what else are we looking for then? And based on the previous question, what is the DLL run method? Uh, it doesn't have anything with that. Okay, so let's go back to the... DLL, okay, right here. Run DLL 32.exe. So, using the previous as an example. Where it was explored at exe and then collection box const.hta, we will grab run dll32.exe and then, yeah, this one actually calls out the path location. No? Okay, well, let me take the copy in the note. Uh, so let's take the whole path for run DLL32 and see as to whether or not if that is. And that looks like. Yeah, okay, we'll take this whole thing here. And we'll type that. All right. So kind of in the same vein, just flushed out. Okay, yeah. Just not exactly how they wanted it, but that's fine. It's all good. Okay, uh, what is the image file DLL installer SHA-256 hash from the previous question? So the JPEG? Yeah, because that's what it's calling. That was the HTA, right? No, that's the word doc. I think it's this one. Yep, right here. Collection box const dot JPEG. Apparently it was submitted as an SOSE5. What is it really? Win32 DLL. Shocker. <laughs> okay. Um, so, go back to detail. I need the SHA-256 hash. And... Put it in the little happy brackets. Uh, let's see. Yep, okay. What are the IP address and its domain name hosted installer DLL? So in other words, where did this thing have to reach out to in order to grab that stuff? Word jock. I'm going to assume it's this course McClure's dot com the problem is I need a 
stinking IP address. So somebody give me the IP. Yeah, so she ran, she popped the stuff out. Okay, well, I can at least grab the domain. And is there a hint on the formula? Okay, so that they're looking at IP, comma, space, domain, dot com. So, I mean, we're, we've got the domain, we just need a resolution. Okay, let's do this. Let's go back to our... Oh, look at the PCAP. Okay, fine. So let's see. I'm fairly certain it's going to be the course McClure's. Uh, I need to. What do I need to do here? I need to make sure that the network miner window is visible. Ah, okay, here we go. So we'll blow that up a little bit. I realize you can't see what I'm talking about. Give me one moment while I do, there we go, transition. So, because the virus total results show the Word document going out to the course McClure's, I'm going to grab the 4514213105. Get that jotted down. And, okay, let's go back here. I will take Network Miner off the screen because I think we've grabbed what we need. But we will find out. So that would be what, six? Hey, all right. <laughs> what is the full URL for the install? Oh, we saw that. Um, which was it, HBO? Yeah, right here. All this good stuff. Right? Well, this one here, but it doesn't resolve. So here's a question. No, that's different, right? I suppose I should. It's the problem. I'm not quite used to so much flicking back and forth. So let's just go back to Network Miner. Apparently I stretched it a little bit too much. Okay, so we'll move that one over. So that's the slash ADDA slash. So it starts similarly, but I think it, yeah, this is different. 
Because what I've got and what I'm looking at. Yeah, so let's see. Of course. That. I'm trying to compare the HTTP request on the virus total result with what's here. And this looks like this is different. So I'm going to grab that. And let's see. Is there another hint in regards to like format? Very long hey, URL string. Yeah, you're not kidding. Okay, so we got that in there. We add the curly brackets. Yeah, there we go. All right. Starts from lowest to highest. So we are looking again back in the PCAP file. We're looking for the C2 IP addresses. So this never did. No, nope, not this copy. I think there was another one I had opened. So there's the ADA. That's all that stuff there. Microsoft, Skype. It doesn't really help a whole heck of a lot. Dang it. Well, this one just looks entirely different. We still got the explorer.exe, the collection box const.hta, run dll32, pulling on the, J, the JPEG. That's not a JPEG. Looks like they just fired it up to get some of the info off of it. Although it is nice to see this one, I think, yeah, this one managed to get the same IP resolution that was in the PCAP. I don't have any samples of this stuff that, nope, okay. Then I think we are just looking in the PK. Lowest to highest. So again, we're going to go back to Network Miner, because, you know, why not? Crap, i got to resize the window before I do the transition, otherwise it's just going to... It's just going to be terrible. And of course, I realize that if I do that, stuff gets cut off, and it looks kind of awfully small. 
Ah, <laughs> uh, crap. I suppose I should put these in order. Okay, so network miner then should stay. Yes, network miner stays below everything. Or most of everything. Kind of, sort of, this way. Okay. I know you you guys can't see what I'm doing yet. I'm just resizing windows to try to make it a little bit easier to look at. Okay, I'm going to do the transition. So we're back here. I'm underneath sessions, underneath the PCAP. And so, obviously, the first hit, of course, McClure's, that's pulling stuff down. And then we're looking for, well, there's your top talkers right there. 185.33.85.35. Looks like it's a couple of different domains that are attached to that. And the next one would be right above that, 194.5.249.46. Although that one looks like that, yeah, it's three, and resolves to the same domain. Okay, so let me grab the notes here. We will grab them and put them lowest first, as what was directed. So I'll take network miner down. Go back to DFIR, and we will see if I've got that right. That was eight. Eight, all right. <laughs> what are the four C2 domains identified in the PCAP file? Alphabetical order. It looks like there's a wire shark. First letter A E F K domain dot something comma space okay that makes sense all right so we'll go back turn network miner back on again still in the sessions so it looks like that's going to be a r h a n n e x a five dot top e so ex what's this extrimefigim -E dot top and then fimlubindu dot top and so last one would be okay kilo da kilo dazer four so dazer is opposed to a laser dot fit. Okay, let me get that typed out. Da, 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 da. Okay. So let's drop network miner back to the background. So our web browser's in front. Let's see if I got those spelled right. I think I do. Yes. <laughs> okay. What's the next question then? After the DLL installer being executed, what are the two domains that were being contacted by the installer DLL? Well, what else are we left with out of everything here? That's the question. So we can pretty much knock out any of these down here, because these are repeats. So, so it must be this supplement tick dot top.
CloudFront, Amazon.com, AWS. <sighs> well, the query was for AWS.Amazon, so let me grab that one and the supplement. Um, is there a... Oh, okay, here we go. I think I'm on the right track, but let me bring that back down. Okay, so the hint, look in the PCAP file, which we're doing, just not with Wireshark. First domain is a popular cloud web service. That's going to be the aws.amazon.com. That's got to be. Second one's IP address starts with 172. Which is exactly what the supplement tick dot top resolves to the first time. 172.67.169.59. Okay, so let's grab that. And we'll put it in the notes quick. Oh yeah, subdomain.domain.com, comma, space, domain, dot, something, dot, er, squiggly brackets. Oh, with the squiggles and the wiggles. All right, let's see if we're we're barking up the right tree. Okay, question eleven: The malware generated traffic to an IP address over port eighty eighty with two SYN requests. What is the IP address? Okay, back to Network Miner. Underneath Sessions, port 8080. So, that sticks out like a sore thumb right there. 38.1.1.1. With two SYN requests? Well, I'm only seeing that one there, but let's just... We'll swing. If we miss, we miss, but we're going to shoot our shot. See what we get. Yeah, here we go. I can't argue with that. Okay, the license.dat file was used to create persistence on the user machine. What is the DLL run method for persistence? Look at the scheduled task file. Should be a direct copy and paste. Path, 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 file.dll, something, 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 dark side. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go back to this and we look at the scheduled task. That's going to fire up and open. And I need to grab that. So, I'm going to bring that up. Ooh, i got to pull that down. There we go. That, that, that looks a lot better. A lot better. Okay, and so we need to look for something that will end up being a direct copy. Hey, hello. License.dat. Yeah, it's going to be this right here. Okay. All right, so let's get that. Here. <laughs> oh, crap. I just realized. I left out the double quote before the C. But they still took it, so okay. I don't know if that's an oversight, because I mean, if it was a direct copy and paste. Although, yeah, I didn't grab the ending. 
I don't know, I'm not going to look like give horse to the mouth, I guess, but... Yeah, so I missed the starting bracket and the ending bracket, or ending double quote, without even realizing it. Huh? Either that or they're just very lenient in terms of what exact answer they'll take, but okay. I mean, I just caught myself lucky, I guess. Okay, with Osent, what is the fam or Malware family name used in the PCAP capture? I am cold. I mean, is it really even Osent, though, considering the fact that it's in the name of the exercise? The Iced ID? Okay, if I got that wrong, then... Oh, okay. I was going to say, hey, just give this stuff up. <laughs> oh, based on Palo Alto Unit 32, or Unit 42, what is the ABT group name? Let's see. ba 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 ba, -ba. Yeah, let's open that one up. That one looks... Okay, so Iced ID. TA-55-1. Sure. Let's take a swing. Otherwise known as... Shed Hack. S H A T H A K. Well, let's try the T A, and if that doesn't work, then we've got the other one. Um. Okay, I'll take that too. What is the minor attack code for the initial access in this campaign? I don't suppose you guys are going to tell me, oh, look at that, look at that, initial access, and there's only one section, right? Yes. Okay, so the number I'm assuming is going to, yeah, real number. It starts with a T. You know, all real, real whole numbers start with a T. <laughs> so I'm going to take a stab and say T1566.001. So type that out, put it in the squiggly brackets, and we'll go back. And submit, and let's see just whether or not if I get that right. Oh, beautiful. Okay, there we go. There is an analysis of a metric ton of files. Not really a metric ton. It's eight. Eight files. Although in terms of, I think that's the most we've had thus far for any of these exercises. I'm fairly certain that's what it was, or what it is. But hey, that's all good for, at least as far as I care. So, there we go. I think the only thing I've got left now to complete. Let's see, all the malware analysis ones were done. Yep, those are out of the way. I think the only thing I've got left is infection with cobalt strike to do. And then I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I'll get started on some of the other exercises. Um, I mean, are they back? Is there any, like, open cases to work? No. I'm assuming that they're getting ready for that, uh... Oh, what was it? Like the L2 exercises. Oh, now I'm drawing a blank. Because 
they had a a sign up sheet that had gone out in order to test some of this stuff. Incident responder. Oh no, that's going to drive me nuts. I am trying to remember what. Was it the L2? Cripe. Search Twitter, that's what I'm looking for. Let's let's defend. I didn't think it was that long ago that they had posted. It's the incident response to get the beta invite, so I'm assuming they're they're spinning this stuff up ready to go. Um, I gotta change the window that I'm looking at. There. I'm assuming, yeah, because that was July 26th. So that was three days ago as I record this. I'm assuming that's what they're, they're spinning up and doing. To actually be able to go through and do IR. So that should be fun. Very, very much fun. But, 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 with all of that, that completes our run through of the DFIR exercise. of Iced ID, Malware Family. Um, I guess the next thing I'll do will be, I guess, Infection with Cobalt Strike. Get that put together and get that posted out. And then, effectively, I guess we'll be done with Let's Defend for a little while. While the rest of this stuff starts filtering through. Um, I think what the, after I finish off this infection with cobalt strike exercise, I'll start taking wax and chunks out of the cyber defenders exercises. I believe I got their go ahead recorded to go ahead and make the videos, you know, working through and getting this stuff done. I'll have to double check though, because obviously I don't want to sit there and do this stuff and honk anybody off. Not looking to do that. Just trying to make educational materials and try to help everybody. But, so, okay, so there's this exercise in the books, and I will see everyone in the next video.